Me either. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the room we've been staying in for the past like a week. Last week is the hub, Permer Inn at Tower Hill, and it's been pretty good. I like it personally. I think it's pretty, pretty nice. And Omar doesn't come with the room, sad. They don't get an Omar with the room. No. Not included. We didn't get this cool TV. Which is pretty cool, and like everything in the room, kind of connects to TV as well. So you can, can you get so many movies and everything with it. You get like an app. You get you can get an app, and you can like move everything to your TV from the app. It's really cool. Um, however, that didn't work for us, so it's a little bit annoying. But yeah, a massive TV. You can connect your Apple device to it, and yeah, watch stuff on it, which is pretty nice. On top of that, you get a pretty nice view. Like, that's the shard, and that's, that's the room. This is the bathroom. It's a very good size. The shower is really big for what you're getting, and you've got like a bin and stuff in there, and sink, and like place to put your stuff. The only thing it's missing is more like storage for like your toiletries and stuff, because all my toiletries had to kind of go there. And as you come into the room, uh, you've got your two coat hangers and you've got a bottle opener just right there and you've got a plug which is good for like straighteners and stuff and you've got your hair dryer and your mirror. Under the bed you've got this cool like under bed storage compartment which has got like junk in it right now that's not ours but um, yeah you pull this out and all your suitcases and stuff can go in which is pretty awesome and then you've got this one too which is just like a drawer and then you've got the table, which pulls out of the bottom of beds, which is pretty cool. And then you can just pull the chair up to the table, do your work with a nice view. Now the bed is a pretty decent size, I'd say. Would you say the bed's a decent size? Yeah, I mean, we were quite comfortable. Yeah, there's loads of space. The bed is a very good size, especially for what you're paying, because it's budget. And the fact that when you pay, you're like, oh, it's going to be tiny. And it's one of these shoebox rooms, but it's not. It's actually really spacious and big, and it's really awesome. And next to your bed, you have these charging ports for your USBs and all that sort of stuff. And also that connects to the TV, so you can watch movies through the HDMI cables and stuff. Altogether, one of the downfalls is only two plugs here. Well, four plugs, but um. It's not that bad, but if you're a photographer and you have laptops, it's kind of annoying because you have to charge everything at the end of the day. And the only other plug is over there where the straighteners and stuff are, which isn't very convenient because it's half of the wall. The best bit about this room is this. This is so cool. You can control all the lights from this location, like turning lights down, turn lights down, turn them more down. You can basically control like everything from this one little location and also one of the things you can control all the heat in the room you can control your reading light and do not disturb and do not make up room um, which does show outside the room so if I press that that'll turn off I'll press it back on let's go see there we go there's the do not disturb also comes with people because you need a people in case there's any predators outside your door because why not yeah, exactly. <laughs> and on top of all that, you have a map on the wall, so you know where you're going the next day. Which also acts as art. It's very nice. So, overall, the room is pretty damn amazing. I love it. I prefer it to the more expensive rooms that we stayed in before. We stayed in a quite expensive sort of spa place because it was getting paid for. Um, and I didn't like it as much, it was more... You said apartment. Some cheek. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I loved it, but just not as much Look as at this, time. huh? Here, get a free hotel. Watch his vlog, he's moaning about the old hotel. Get a free hotel accommodation and... Overall, this hotel I think is a lot better. Just 
I think the other hotel is way too big for what like, you need. There's like facilities downstairs and stuff and you, get, you can go and drink I think it's nice that, that like you don't yeah. have to walk so much to get to the bathroom like the other one. Like, yeah, you had mission. to walk right across the room. Yeah, like <laughs> here it's just right there, man. There's no need for huge rooms. Yeah. This is like everything you need is here, you know? You need to go to the bathroom. It's literally right, the bed's here, bathroom's there, that's all you need. And then if you need like a plug, it's here. It's like it's not too far away. You need to turn off the lights. It's all centralized. Right here. Yeah. Like, the other, like all the, uh, see all these other old hotel rooms and stuff, like. If you want to turn off the lights, you got to walk over all the way to the door and turn off the lights and then walk back here. It's just like, boom, done. Very, very convenient. That's what you want, convenience. And it's nice and snug as well. So our best things about this room, I would definitely say, is the size and the location. And also, just, I really like the sort of, the wee panel that you can control everything in the room from. I think that's amazing. And also that there's films actually on your TV. And see, when you pay for this sort of budget, Central London Hotel. You don't expect any of that, and we were so surprised at actually how central it is as well. It's so close to anything you need. The only thing it probably does need is maybe a closer, like Tesco or supermarket, just so that you do have like, those facilities if you need them. Because at the moment we have to walk through crowds and crowds of tourists to get to the nearest Tesco. The best things are the panel that you can control everything from, which is just amazing. The bathroom is actually amazing, I love the bathroom and also I think the TV and how you can connect everything is pretty cool and the size of the room as well is really nice. Worst things about the room I would say are the fact that our room never got cleaned for two days because they didn't come and clean it, that's maybe one of the things that I think that's just like a mistake within the hotel but they sorted it very quickly and that was good. Uh, another bad thing I think is the thing with the mirror, there's no seat and it's no wee shelf to put anything on, which would be good. Um, even like a seat that sort of pulled out like this table would be quite nice. And also in the bathroom they need more storage. Just like, just picky things, it's nothing that's too big. So overall like, there's, there's nothing that's too big an issue that's going to stop me staying here. I think if I came back to London it would definitely be one of these hubs that I would stay in. Also when you come into the hotel you are greeted by like people. But there is like you have to check in via this iPad sort of computer thing. They they have all your like details of your booking on there, but they have to like assign you a room. So you put like one of these cards down, and then they give you like an assigned room. So it just assigns you a room on the day you don't know what room you're gonna get. It gives you your number, and then you get like two passes. Then you're basically on your way, and obviously the people are there to help you uh, on the way in. But it's very good for people who kind of don't want to talk to people. I think. What? <laughs> I'm Very good for people that don't want to talk to like business people like the guy next door. I don't think he wants to talk to anyone. Like, yeah, that guy. I think that was the guy. And the receptionist was like, uh, is this your first time here? And the guy was like, like Dean looking at me like, nope, been here before. <laughs> and the guy was like, okay. Okay, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> so awkward. But the location here is amazing. We're right next to Tower Hill Underground Station, which connects all to the central lines and circle lines within London and you're right next to Tower Bridge and Tower Hill and the Tower of London which is like the main tourist attractions that a lot of people go see which means it's very quiet here but as soon as you walk across the road and go to Tower Hill and like the Starbucks and Subway and all stuff over there is very busy um, especially at like one o'clock in the afternoon and stuff it's like so busy. Yeah if you're coming to London I would definitely recommend this it's probably the best hotel for location if you want to be in a sort of quiet art area instead of like at Westminster if you want to be in and amongst it all. If you like this give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe because I like people who do that. It's nice. Okay till the next review which is probably going to be Amsterdam in a couple months or whatever. Anyway bye bye.